On the issue of Representative Ocasio-Cortez, she has a chief of staff, pretty disruptive. You've heard about Saikat Ch Chakrabadi. Uh, he has said Democrat uh, leaders in the House have, quote, enabled a racist system. Should that kind of critique be tolerated? Well, look, you're getting into inside, inside, inside the beltway. Just, I am a reporter. Yeah, I know, but if you're a reporter, if we're you're, getting, I, we're, yeah, and the answer is no. Do, do I think Nancy Pelosi is a racist? Of course not. Um, but this is what I do think. Let's get to what really is going on. What is going on in America today? We are the wealthiest country in the history of the world. In the last 30 years, we have seen an explosion in technology and productivity. All right? And yet today, the average American worker is earning in real inflation accounted for dollars, not one penny more than he or she earned 45 years ago. Over the last 30 years, this is quite unbelievable. Over the last 30 years, the top 1% has seen a $21 trillion increase in their wealth. Anyone here know what the bottom 50% has seen? Decline in their wealth by $900 billion. Three people, including the guy who owns the Washington Post, three people own more wealth than the bottom half of America. All right? You have a corporate elite where the fossil fuel industry today makes billions of dollars a year in profits while they are destroying this planet. Top 10 drug companies made $69 billion in profit last year. Average American cannot afford to buy the medicine they need because we are charged by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. We are the only major country in the world not to provide health care to all people as a right. Our younger generation, everything being equal, will have a lower standard of living than their parents. Those are the reasons why Trump gets elected.